This past week, I learned that the Indy 500 does not take place in the rain, and for good reason. I mean, it makes the track dangerously low on grip, and at high speeds, the cars whip up an enormous amount of water out of the tires and diffuser, massively reducing visibility. But me being me, I wanted to experience what it'd be like to race in the wet at Indy in a dry to wet race. As we go green at Indianapolis, we get an incredibly wheel spinny start, but we find the, the traction relatively quickly and we find a gap to get past on the outside line, which was a squeeze, and we take turn one relatively conservative on the outside line where we actually lose a position. But we take turn two a little more aggressively, taking back the position and having a faster exit than the guys around me, allowing us to take three more positions on the back straight. In turn three, we take a very high line to avoid running into the guys in front to try and maintain our momentum, but it turns out that someone at the front of the train spun, causing many of the cars on the inside to slow down, allowing me to get up from P21 to P9 at the end of lap one. You would think with that kind of start that we would be in the lead in no time, but into turn three on the second lap, we lose a position to now P9, and I tried my best to get back at him into turn four, but we overdrove the car into the wall on the outside, causing us to lose lots of speed. On lap four, into turn three once again, we turn in slightly too late to the point where we hit the outside wall and slide, causing us to lose three positions with the third person running into my front wheel just to add insult to injury. But we do save the car from spewing off the track, allowing us to hold P13 until lap 10 when the rain really started to come down and we pitted for wet, dropping all the way down to P20 and being lapped by the leaders. But on the wet, we have so much more pace than the leaders on slicks, so we start a rampage to unlap ourselves and get as high up the order as possible, as apparently we are much quicker in the wet than in the dry. Not going to question it, but a little odd. But on lap 14, we go on the outside line to overtake someone, but on the exit, we run into the wall, causing me to lose control of the car, and we run into the wall on the, on the infield, and after we have a hard time getting and afterward we have a hard time getting back on track spinning on our first attempt to get back up to speed however because of the pace we had the gap between myself and p8 was large enough that we maintained p7 this is proving more and more treacherous although with the right lines we can take a lap completely flat but we recompose and with our five lap undercut we're up into p3 by the time everyone is pitted but as we catch up to p1 and p2 we run out wide too early causing us to hit the wall the same way we did the previous lap, but we were able to reset on track. Unfortunately, this time I couldn't hold the position, so we dropped back to P5, but we come back at them out of turn four on the inside line. With four laps to go, anything can happen, even being six seconds behind, because by the end of this lap alone, we've cut the gap down to two seconds, and we're closing in rapidly, setting my personal best lap of the race and going around the outside of p2 even though we did make contact with the wall and on the exit of turn two the leader was trying his best to block off the inside line but we didn't even need to wait till turn three to make the move because we get him on the outside line from then on it was pretty straightforward affair getting past some back markers although at the end i waited up for p2 and p3 to try and recreate a photo finish but there were too many back markers in the way so i just finished the race Although this was 120% AI, I don't think that they were coded for Indianapolis in the wet, or just the wet in general. But in conclusion, Indy in the wet is fun, but dangerous, and probably shouldn't happen in real life. If you like this video, be sure to like it, and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Peace!